Hey Summer Campers, my name is Miss Ann from Star Glazers and I'm going to be helping you paint pottery this summer and um, I'll be behind the scenes doing the glazing and the firing of it, okay? And I'm sending you all kinds of supplies to help you paint your pottery pieces, okay? Pottery is made from clay, it comes from the ground, all right? And it's breakable, so we have to be a little bit careful. In the first part of your bag, you're going to see this little cup that has your pottery piece in it inside of a little bubble bag. If you pull it out, you'll realize it's a tadpole, okay? So we're going to do two pieces of pottery this summer. If the first one is a tadpole, I'm going to have you guess what the second one's going to be, okay? Here's the thing about your pottery. You're going to paint it, and then it's going to come back to me through upspring so that I can glaze it, which makes it really, really shiny, and then fire it in a hot oven called a kiln goes to 2,000 degrees. Let's talk a little bit about these paints you have. Because they're special paints called underglazes, and they are able to be fired at 2,000 degrees, and these are the only paints you should use on your pottery pieces, okay? Any other paint, if it comes back to me with marker or other kinds of paints that you have available, any of that will burn off in the kiln, so you don't want that to happen. You want to use these paints that will stay on there forever and ever after they're fired, okay? All right, so only use these for this, these projects. This set of paints will be for both of your pottery pieces, okay? So the second one you get, you're going to use these same paints in the same set. So when you're finished with the tadpole, you want to make sure you have the lids on each of the cups and put them back in the Ziploc bag and zip it so that it stays airtight so your paints stay really nice and moist for the second project. Because you probably won't get the second project until the third week of camp, okay? I don't, I'm not going to promise on that because they'll kind of gauge it on your progress, okay? So, but keep these really nice and airtight so that when you get your second pottery piece, you'll have these available to use, okay? All right, let's talk through the other parts of the um, kit that you have in your, in your bag, okay? You have a piece of newspaper, so you're going to spread that out as your work surface so that you don't get paint on whatever you're working on, okay? Keep the table nice or the floor or wherever you're working, all right? You have the little pottery piece, the little tadpole. You can set that on here to work, all right? And this little cup that he was in is for a little bit of water, okay? Whenever you're painting, you want your brush dry, but if you're changing colors, you kind of need to wash and dry your brush in between colors, okay? So say I was doing him green, 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 and now I want to use a little bit of red on his tail. So I'm going to wash my brush in the bowl, and then I'm going to use my paper towel to brush my brush on so that it gets really dry, okay? Kind of go sideways with it, and get all that water and extra paint out of there. So that's what the towel's for, okay? You have three different brush sizes, small, medium, and large. So if you were doing his eyes, I would use the really, really tiny brush that you have. You could just go dot, dot, okay? If you're doing his whole body, you might use, oh, this medium size or the big size brush. Okay, you decide. But there's three different sizes for you to use. And those are your brushes that you keep. Okay, remember we're going to use those for the second project too. Alright? You also have this giant sheet in here with tons of words on it. Okay, I'm going to walk you through what is on here so that it's easy and you don't have to read through it. But it's here as a reference. Okay, or you can come back to the video and hear the part that you missed or um, you know, figure out where did she say that and what did she say? Okay, but let's walk through this because the middle part is especially important, all right? I've already put, uh, I've already said a few things that are on the top here. Most importantly, put your name on the tadpole, okay? And um, the middle part of it is really important because it shows how the colors turn out, okay? And it shows the color number which is on top of each cup, okay? So this first one in my bag, it says 022 yellow. So if I go to this chart and I see 022, that's how that color is going to turn out after it's fired. Guess what else? There's one coat, which is like one time with your brush, two coats, two times with your brush on the same spot, and three coats underneath the color number. That's one, two, three times with that same color on that same spot. That's how that will turn out, okay? I like to do three coats, but it's really up to you. But you can see with just one coat, this column, you're going to see a lot of white from the pottery piece showing through. So if you don't want that, you need to go do more layers of the color. Okay, one, two, three, or one, two. Okay. If you leave a spot blank, it'll be white. Kind of makes sense, right? He's white right now. 
So if you leave a little spot of this, like on his toes, blank, it'll be white, okay, or wherever you want to leave white. But don't leave white on accident, leave white on purpose, okay? If you leave a spot blank on accident, it'll be white, because it's, you know, you're not, if you're not painting there. Now, if you overlap colors, you put two colors on top of each other, your darkest one takes over. So what if you start and you paint him all super dark brown first? You're kind of stuck, right? No other colors are gonna show over top of that. And that's okay if that's what you want. But if you wanna do some detail work, say you wanted to do spots on his back. I think um, some of the tadpoles might have spots in the, in the tropical rainforests, okay? You can decide if you wanted to do, say, make him yellow first and then do some polka dots on his back, okay? You invent your own tadpole today. It doesn't have to look like a real one, all right? So but remember, the dark colors take over, so be careful, okay? All right, so that covers most of the sheet. And um, make sure that when you're finished, you can still read your name on the back, okay? So if you accidentally set it in the newspaper where there's a dot of spot, a spot of paint, you wanna make sure that wipe it, wipe that paint off and redo your name, okay? So I wanna make sure you get your tab pulled back. Remember, I want, I want you to get yours back, not somebody else's, okay? So your name is really important, all right? Okay, I think that covers it for today. And um, I'll probably do another video when you get your second pottery piece, okay? So I hope you have fun with this and I cannot wait to see your awesome tadpole creations. Thank you.